Kids are back in school, and you know what that means. Germs that come home with them at the end of the day. Dr. Max Gomez is here now to tell us this is apparently, in the long run, actually a good thing, doctor. Well, it is as long as we're talking about the germs that cause the common cold. You know, the immune system is like a muscle. You have to use it and challenge it in order for it to get strong. It also has to learn to recognize the bad guys. That's why it needs to be exposed to those viruses that cause colds. If it hasn't happened yet, it will soon. Those walking Petri dishes, better known as toddlers and school kids, will soon catch a cold like Aaron Moya Jones. It's really annoying because you always get runny noses, and especially when you're in class and you have a cold, like every second you have to blow your nose. And her older sister Lourdes knows it's almost inevitable that the rest of the family will soon follow. Six people in the family, one by one, everybody's going to get sick and then they're going to stay home from school. It's like dominoes. While colds can be unpleasant and inconvenient, pediatrician Dr. Laura Popper says you should look at it as kids go to school to learn reading, writing, arithmetic, and germs. Well, it's a good thing. Our bodies, the more we have these common viruses, the better our immune systems. And if you had a kid who was off in a bubble, they'd do very, very badly because they would not have had this experience with being sick. Upper respiratory colds can typically last three to five days. Antibiotics don't work against viruses, so the best treatment is rest, plenty of fluids, and maybe some honey and steam to ease the throat and breathing. All kind of goes against a parent's instincts. When we were new parents, any sniffle, any concern was straight to the doctor. But now we're a little bit more pragmatic. Dr. Popper says there are some signs to watch for, though, that things are a little more serious. If a child has a high fever and is not eating, is lethargic, is breathing rapidly, those would certainly be reasons to talk to your doctor. Now, Dr. Popper also says to try to stay away from over-the-counter cold remedies. Children can have bad reactions to them. And if your child has asthma or is immunocompromised for any reason, those children should be watched more care closely, rather. And But she says if you have any doubt, always call the pediatrician. Don't wait or, or doubt mm -hmm. it. Any reason that you think there might be yeah. something going on, call your doctor. Well, it's still early in the season. Oh, it is. We, we it haven't is. gotten sick yet. Not yet, but it's coming. <laughs> Trust coming. me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Max.